another Dana White's Contender Series breakdown, and we've got a returning fighter from this uh, from the last season of Contender Series. He's now here on this season, and that is Yusuri Belgari. Now, we're in the middleweight division here. Yusuri Belgari, you're familiar with him. He fought Marco Tulio last year, did not get the win. However, he's back, right? Um, guys, been out there on the regional scene, had a couple of fights since, and here he is again. Now, he's taking on Taiga Iwasaki, I think is how you say the last name, Iwasaki. Uh, this is going to be an interesting fight because we're going to have to see how the improvements that um, Belgari has made on the regional scene are going to translate to the Contender Series, which is a bit higher level typically because you're fighting some of the better regional scene guys, not just the guys that he can fight just at any promotion, right? Um, so when we're looking at this one, like I have said in some of the other videos, if you haven't watched those yet, I'll tell you now, uh, I record these before the odds come out. So I don't really know where odds makers have this so i'm just breaking this down from what i've seen from the tape uh i could be picking all favorites i could be picking all underdogs i could have a nice mix of both i don't know so i record these earlier in the week but i don't release them until saturday after the fights or sunday morning depending on the day uh, just because i know that's when you guys are going to watch them so there we go there you have it i don't know the odds but middleweight matchup both guys are four and one in their last five now for iwasaki he's only got that one loss in which yeah, I mean, it didn't look good for him, but outside of that, that was against a very, very tough out. So outside of that, he's looked pretty good. Um, good enough to get the wins. For Belgari, early in his career, the grappling deficiencies were extremely apparent. Um, it shows that he is working on those, so that is something to take note of. Let's break this fight down. Now, for Iwasaki, he's obviously the more well-rounded fighter, right? He's, he's, he's the, um, the guy that can get it done both in the striking and the grappling. He's a good striker with an active lead leg. I love to see that. That lead leg, he doesn't have to like do a switch to get the kick going. Um, he has a good push kick off that off that front leg. My goodness, my hammies are tight. Just found that out. Um, yeah, so been running a lot. Got a half marathon coming up. So, uh, but either way, <laughs> sidetrack. But yeah, so that that push kick off the lead leg, that's something that I really like for him here. Get some, get himself some distance. Get himself some room to work if he needs it. Um, but he's got a good calf kick from there. He can snap it up to the body as well. That, the lead leg is impressive because a lot of people struggle to be able to kick off the lead leg without a switch or without, you know, taking a step or, you know, whatever. So I do like that. Good combinations. He's a good striker all around, but he can get backed up. And that's something I think is going to happen to him a lot here because I do think Bulgari is going to want to be the guy going forward. And uh, we're going to cover more about that in just a moment when we get to Bulgari. But, but for Iwasaki... I think he, I think he's going to need to fight that urge to get backed up and uh, make things uncomfortable if he wants to be able to get this to the mat, which I think he does. Because as much as Bulgari is, you know, working on his grappling, he's still a kickboxer that is in MMA, and the grappling is going to be a deficiency for a while yet. So good grappling for Iwasaki. The biggest problem though is he struggles to get takedowns. When he gets the takedown, the dude's really good at controlling his opponents from the top. He has an excellent back take, and once he takes that back, he locks in that body triangle, and you're not going anywhere. So he's very good once he gets it there, but he struggles to get the takedowns, and then when he gets up to the cage push, he often gets out muscled. So he's able to get these guys to a cage push. He'll start working, try to get a takedown, and then he just gets flipped around and stuck against the cage himself. And that's going to be a big problem for him here. So, like, there's things I like about Iwasaki, a lot of things I like, and if he can get this fight to the mat, I think he's going to have a lot of success. But can he get this fight to the mat? That's the tricky question. For Bill Garib, solid striker. No doubt he's going to be the better striker in this matchup. He's going to hit harder. And he's probably going to be a little bit cleaner, right? Uh, very powerful kicks. That front kick to the body just sucks the wind out of people. It's not a push kick. It is a I'm going to try to knock your wind out of you type of front kick. So different. There's so many different styles of front kicks. I mean, there's different styles of most kicks, like your roundhouse kick has various uh, variations and things like that, your side kick as well. But the front kick seems to be the one that has the most apparent variations. The push kick, obviously, you're, you're you're pushing your opponent. There is a different style where you're trying to penetrate through your opponent, um, and then there's other styles where you're just trying to kind of hold them at range. You know, just kind of kind of poking and prod, kind of like a jab. There's various different you know styles of the front kick. If you probably understand this, I'm just beating a dead horse. But the front kick that Belgari is throwing is he's trying to put a hole in you, and that's what he's looking to do, and that's what he does. I mean, figuratively, figuratively speaking. Nasty calf kick as well. Very powerful there. I think he can probably land that here without too much trouble. Uh, clean combinations on the feet. But he does struggle with guys that give him constant pressure. Both of these guys kind of struggle with similar things. Iwasaki's more quick to back up 
uh, in those situations. Belgari doesn't want to back up, but constant pressure will give him trouble on the feet. I don't know that he's going to have to worry about that here. I don't think Iwasaki's going to be able to do that to him. If he does, I'll be very impressed. I just don't see it. I think the front kicks up the middle are going to cause too much trouble for Iwasaki to keep coming forward like that. In the takedown defense, he has improved quite a bit. We saw it in his last matchup. Now, this is not against the UFC level, high level guy. But on the regional scene, this guy was shooting a lot of takedowns. And even when Belgari did get taken down for a brief moment, he was he bounced right back to his feet. He did a really good job at stuffing takedowns and, and using his elbows to do damage up against the cage while guys were trying to get takedowns on him. It's improving a lot, rapidly. I do like that. He's got a pretty good cage push now. Um, he's able to be the one successfully pushing guys up against the cage and working them over. Ultimately, the improvements that Belgari has made are what I think he needed to get himself into the UFC. So I think he's going to get this one done. I feel pretty good about it, honestly. Um, I, I think Iwasaki's skilled. I just think the way that his skills match up with Belgari, I don't think it's good. I don't think he's going to be able to get the takedowns he needs. I think the cage push, he's going to get out muscled. And the fact that he gets backed up is not good. He would need a forward pressure style and be able to secure takedowns. If he had those, he would probably, probably be able to beat Belgari. I don't think he has them, and I think Belgari gets it done because of that. So, you three Belgari is a pick. I feel pretty good about this one. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. While you're down there, if you like the video, maybe you found this useful, that would be a good way to show me that you found this useful, and I do appreciate that. Also, if you haven't checked out the rest in the playlist, do so after this. If you found this one useful, you will find those useful. So, check out the other videos, and I will see you guys in one of those.